Hey guys, welcome to the weekend vlog. Today we are going to Hollywood Studios. I haven't been since they opened the new ride, so like the whole Star Wars thing I haven't been to. And then I also didn't go on the Mickey and Minnie Railroad. So that took the place of the great movie ride, but I'm really excited because they opened that a few months, like a month or two before they closed, or maybe even that same month. And I tried to get in there before um, the parks closed for the coronavirus, but we weren't able to do it. So I'm really happy about that. And then the day after tomorrow is the first day of school. So tomorrow we're gonna get everything prepared for the first day of school. We got fitted for uniforms the other day. So those are being ordered, but I pretty much got everything else. There's a couple things on the list that I need to quickly pick up. And then um, we're gonna be dropping some of the stuff off at the school as well. So. There's a lot to do this weekend. If you like the vlogs, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'm wearing this tie-dye t-shirt. So they still sell this t-shirt. I got it last year. It's a little different, um, very comfortable. It's a unisex tee and I'm wearing the small. And I think they have blue writing now, so it's the only difference. You can get it on Shop Disney, but they also have them in the parks. And then my shorts, these are the Abercrombie Mom shorts, my most favorite shorts, true to size. I'm wearing my usual size 28. And then just my Van slip-on, uh, I forget what they're called, I think Asher maybe, but just the white ones. So really casual today. pizza took a body shower gave a lay bath and now i'm just relaxing we went on so many rides we went on all of toy story land all of the new star wars area and even the old star wars ride and then the new mickey and minnie railroad and all of the new rides are so good the mickey and minnie railroad is probably one of my favorite rides now that was so cute they you could tell they just they went like above and beyond for that ride and then for the um star wars resistance ride we were able to get on that that was the last ride we waited pretty much most of the day for that and that was so good it's like unlike anything i've ever been on so if you need tips for that if you're going to be in the florida area and you have tickets for hollywood studios um at 10 o'clock and at two o'clock you have to go on the app and check yourself to get a virtual spot and you're going to do that by checking in on your phone either at 9 59 right before 10 or 1 59 right before 2 and then as soon as that it hits 2 or 10 you got to click on that button and then it'll show you the time available and it'll say join and it, they'll give you a spot so at 2 o'clock we got that spot and it was we went up getting on the ride at like 5 30 so it wasn't that bad it was two and a half hours but we did go on every other ride while we were waiting for that ride so that ride it's um so 
I'm definitely gonna go to bed. We have an early day tomorrow. We gotta get some last minute school supplies, bring them to the school, and then get more shopping done and hopefully have a nice relaxing evening before the first day of school. But I'm gonna go to bed now, wrap things up here, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. It's the next morning, we dropped everything off at their school, and now we're headed into Target to get some last minute little supplies. You ready? Can you please put out? Do you like this? I'm gonna look down. They keep okay, what down. snacks do you want? No. Snacks. For tomorrow for drink? <laughs> what do you want? I'm gonna get this. But I want to see if there's anything else that's better. Well, obviously that's not gonna happen. Here, you want these? One each, you have to get something that we both agree on. No, you, you can get whatever you what want. Dummy? You can get whatever you want. You want these? Don't me. <laughs> the flavors. Actually, I like blue. The little ones are these. These. These are more. These are better. Yeah, but you're probably going to be really thirsty. Mm -hmm. no, this, one. this is the backpack Scarlett's using this year. We got it from Kohl's. It has a lot of pockets. So this front pocket comes up and she just has her um, pencil case. We got this one at the Dollar Tree and then all the pens and pencils and stuff inside we got at Target. So just really basic stuff that she needed. The erasers, some red pens for checking, an Expo marker, 24 number two pencil sharpened, a pencil sharpener, and I think that's all that's in here. I really don't know why she wants this in there, but whatever. Then in this next pouch, she just has her art box. It has crayons, markers, like Crayola markers, glue sticks, scissors, and I think colored pencils. And inside this one pocket, they have a place to put your keys. In here, she just has some highlighters in that top pack. This is like a short pouch for pens and pencils, I think. And then in this neck, area she doesn't have anything so that's just like a big compartment in the front then in the next compartment she just has a binder with the ta tabs in there and some book covers they always need fabric book covers for their books some loose leaf paper a bunch of composition notebooks and um, different color folders. They use these kind of folders a lot. And then on the side, they have a place to put a drink. They do require a water bottle to fill up. They have little like stations where you can fill up your drinks instead of water fountains. So that's what they have now. And this is all Scarlet. This is the book bag Ava got. It's just like your classic Jan Sport with the leather bottom. I think I had this book bag when I was in middle school, but I had the suede. And I remember a pencil going through it, like a sharpened pencil just went right through the bottom. But the lady at the store actually just told me that there's a tag that comes with these bags and if you save it, you can actually contact them and they'll repair any of your bags. I didn't know that then and I didn't know it now. So that's a good thing to know about Jean Sport, but in this front pocket, she just has extra lead. She likes mechanical pencils a lot. And some extra headphones in case she forgets hers. And then the same art box that Scarlett has. They needed the same stuff. The scissors, markers, crayons, colored pencils, and glue sticks. And in, in this pouch as well, they have 
a place to put like your keys with this. And then in this main compartment, she just has, the, she got her science book today. We covered it with clear contact paper. Um, some, a spiral notebook for I think her Spanish class. Loose leaf paper, composition notebooks, a ton of pens. What's this? Oh, hand sanitizer. Highlighters. This has her name on it, but it's the stuff that she had needs for art. So it's just three pencils. I said these Pentel high polymer erasers and then the pink diamond erasers. Um, she also needs book covers more than Scarlet for and then index cards and more pencils. She got those. These. I think she had one more pack. So really just basic stuff. And then in this last little part, I guess that's to keep like money and stuff like that. So, oh, this is the tag. This is the tag the lady said if you keep this. For sneakers, they have to wear black, so Scarlett picked these out. She's very particular with the way things feel, and these were pretty much the only ones she could get on and off easily, and she still felt comfortable. Um, these are at Kohl's, so just plain black and white Nikes. And both girls got a package of these from Kohl's. It's 10 pairs for $12. I thought that was pretty good, and they also have like some coupons and stuff. They're really comfortable, easy to put on, and then slip your foot right into the shoe. So that's like a big issue for us with the socks. For Ava for sneakers, she went with the same one she had last year. They were just comfortable. They lasted a, pretty much the whole year. And the only difference with these are they're a half size bigger. She probably could have even went with the same size, but there was like a little, like maybe like a centimeter, and I'm pretty sure she's gonna get a little bit bigger. So we just got a half size bigger, and um, they only have this particular pair of Vans at the Van store, where that's where we got them, but last year we got them at Tilly's. Those are the only two stores that sell the all black Vans, but they're just really a basic pair of shoes. If you need black, these are really good. I also picked up at Target this Kiss Nail Glue. So I usually use the pink diamond. This is the Kiss Precision Nail Glue. It's purple. It was a dollar and change. They didn't have the pink diamond that I usually use. But I did my nails with the Dollar Tree Sassy and Chic Nails. I buy two boxes, one for each hand. And I love the length of them. I love the feeling of them. They're not too thick like the Kiss ones irritate me for some reason i have like a sensory thing where it really bothers me after a day especially if i'm not used to having nails or i don't have nails for a long time so i really like that combination the sassy and chic nails two boxes and kiss nail glue and you have like a week-long manicure it took me minutes to put these on like less than five minutes and i have to worry about nail polish or sitting at the nail salon so now what I want to do is I want to reverse tie-dye or bleach tie-dye that Johnny Cash shirt I showed in my Walmart haul. I've been debating it. I was going to keep it just plain black, but I think I will go for it or want to wear it more if it has something a little bit extra. So I saw on Pinterest how to do that with the Clorox 12 bowl cleaner. So I'm going to try to do that now and then we're going to make dinner and start getting ready for the first day of school tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. So I read that you want to like wring it like a towel. I don't know. So you just wring it and then you kind of like roll it up. And then I'm just securing it. I don't have rubber bands, so I'm using hair ties. <laughs>
sink for like an hour or so. And I'm gonna start on dinner. What I'm making today, it's a keto friendly dinner. I'm not on keto. I like to like, if I eat really bad, like one or two days, and I like to eat like a little bit better the next day or two. And that's just like everything in moderation. But this is a keto friendly dinner. And the kids like it. Ava really likes it. It's called egg roll in a bowl. It's super easy. All you need is ground beef, cabbage, onion, garlic, and then some like Chinese seasoning. Okay, so I'm gonna start out by cutting up some onion and if you're doing keto, then you don't want to use any onion, but this is like an optional. I like onions, so I'm just gonna do a little bit. So this looks like about like a half a cup of onion, I guess, but you can add a little more if you like it. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of olive oil. Two cloves of garlic. Okay, once the meat is brown, then you're gonna add your bag of coleslaw mix. Then you add three tablespoons of soy sauce. And one tablespoon of rice vinegar. And you wanna add one tablespoon of rice vinegar. Then you're just gonna let it cook until the cabbage is really soft and wilted, just like an egg roll. You can add salt, pepper, sriracha sauce, any kind of seasonings that you would use in Chinese food, you can add to it. It's really good. You can do it over rice, over brown rice if you're not doing keto. And um, green onions too. I don't have any green onions. You can put them on the top. It's really good. But let's check on our little bleach DIY. This looks like it's turning pretty quick. It's been about 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna start rinsing it out.
I feel like this definitely needs something more like coming out pretty good. I'm just going to let it sit a little bit longer and then I'm going to wash it. But not bad for my first tie-dye. I love how like this part came out. So maybe if I like wring it on the other side too it would have came out better. But let's look at the back. So not bad. I think this is still lightening up a little bit it is wet so it's not gonna be as intense as like this area but i feel like this looks like a smiley face we just finished up dinner i'm gonna get the kitchen cleaned up these kids showered and put in bed for a first day to school tomorrow if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one bye when there's electric in the air, you better be prepared. She's my kind.